lemon and walnut waffles. Four cups of flour go in, and we're gonna do a dry and then a wet. Dry first, so add to that some baking powder. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of that, the leavening agent. We don't want flat crepes, we want big fluffy waffles. And then to that, I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of sugar. And then what I like to do when you have a little bit of sugar, just a little bit of salt, just like chocolate chip cookies really makes it taste right. So a teaspoon of salt goes in. And all you wanna do is just go ahead and kinda sift this into your bowl here. A lot of bowl usage, but it's really smart to do the dry and the wet separately. This was my favorite part as well. I just love making a mess, and especially when the mess turns into a meal, do you know? Not like mud pies with my girl Lori. We couldn't eat those, we just got messy. All right, that is my dry ingredients, good to go right there. What I like to do is just kind of make a little well in the center and get it ready for all of the wet ingredients. And that's right now. What I wanna do is get three and a half cups of milk to go right here into my liquid cup measure. Bring my little bowl up here and get it ready for all the love. Let me tell you, I really truly do love waffles in all their forms. Look at me making a mess here. That's two cups of milk. Get that in. I don't care if it's got sugar crusted on the side or if it's Belgian, American. This is going to be one and a half. There we go on that line right there. And I'm gonna fill it up to the two cup line with some oil. So just a half a cup of veg or canola. Anything but olive, it's perfect. There we go. This is gonna make the perfect waffles now. I know I told you, boy, those days growing up and pulling those pages apart from the cookbook to make the waffles are long gone. I've kind of updated this for my adult palate and made uh, the waffles sing with a little bit of lemon extract. And then just to kind of add to what I did with the lemon extract, I'm gonna throw in the zest of a lemon as well. Just really brings this up. I mean, we're having this with chicken, which is something savory, so it's nice to kind of match it with something that's nice and light and zippy. And uh, let me tell you, if you've never had lemon zest and lemon extract in your waffles, you gotta give it a try. Great in pancakes as well. I kind of love having things in the refrigerator and finding other uses for them. All right, this is good to go. Just gonna whisk this up, and all I need now are my eggs. All right, final egg of six. Just do a little seesaw action right here. No need for gadgets. Really love this part. I don't know why, just something about it. Just separating them and getting them all good to go. All right, six yolks, and that's all I need to get into the wet before I get all the wet into the dry. There we go. In the bowl. Big whisk for a big job. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is a great waffle recipe, even if you don't do the chicken, but you have got to do the chicken. All right, so this is all mixed in. Remember, I have the well in the center. Just kind of pour it in, and I'm gonna lightly combine everything. <laughs> that wasn't a big enough well, was it? <laughs> all right, get my little spatula out and give this a go. The best thing about waffles is, is to me, they're a great reheat, you know? You can make a little waffle sandwich later on in the day if you don't wanna throw the syrup on it and go completely sweet. And I know it might feel a little southern, but come on, they do it in Cali, so it can't be too bad. Super health conscious out there. <laughs> all right, this is all completely combined. And don't forget, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whisk these up to a nice frothy foaminess and add some sugar to it, and I'm gonna fold that in. So just kind of start whisking. If you have a hand beater, you can use that as well, but something about whisking it with a whisk, I don't know, I like it. It takes a little bit longer, but it's gonna be nice and fluffy. So I'm just gonna bring this to a foamy fluff, add some sugar in, and going for soft, soft peaks. Not quite soft, but soft, soft. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and fold that in to my batter over here. This is what makes your waffles nice and light and fluffy and airy, almost like a Belgian waffle without doing the yeast, like I said. Okay, time to go here and get this in and almost ready for my waffle iron. I've got preheated over there. Now look, for me, you know, chicken and waffles is a Cali thing, but I know there's some other places around the country that have it, namely Atlanta, so I'm not hating on Atlanta at all, but the first time I ever had the combination together officially at a restaurant was in California. 
All right, just give a nice little fold here. You want to be gentle. You don't want to kind of ruin all of your nice, lovely, light frothiness that you've worked for with your whites. Just kind of bring it down around the bottom and bring it up over the top, and you'll be good to go in about mm, 10, 15 swipes or so. Depends on how big your spatula is. All right, so completely folded in. Now these are lemon and walnut waffles, but I don't like to add the walnuts actually into the batter. I like to add them onto the waffle iron because if you add them to the batter, they're gonna sink to the bottom and you don't get enough even distribution of your walnut. All right, preheated waffle iron here. A little cooking spray goes down and I'm just gonna ladle it in. This is the best conveyance to just kind of get it right to the waffle iron without making too much of a mess. Right in the center, might take you a few ladles to know. And I always say, I don't mind it coming out the sides. I just don't like a square that doesn't have a corner. So go ahead and just kind of get it in there. It's gonna taste so good. And then right over the top, love to buy them at the grocery store, already chopped up for me, some walnuts. Just kind of evenly sprinkle them around. And there you go, give it a cover. And depending on your waffle iron, it'll let you know when it's done. Mine makes a little beeping noise. There we go. Two little pieces over there, two for me. Come on back. A little bit of syrup over the top. Give this a try. You're going to know why I sat and I did breakfast and lunch in the same restaurant. 